<laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, this is how we fix uh, the arm deformation from, from a control rig and sequencer for mm -hmm. the body. Uh, we open the body skeletal mesh in Poser. And uh, what uh, we are going to do is uh, select lower arm. Uh, lower arm bone and we have Y and Z uh, coordinates for location. We have to set them to zero. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also select hand bone. And we have to set this to zero as well. Okay. Once we do this, we will see that the deformation imposer is the same as in sequencer, right? Yeah. <clears throat> it's uh, the same deformation. So if we create a morph target from this uh, pose, uh, let's uh, create a zero the morph target. Yeah. Okay, and uh, we open this zero morph target. We can try to fix it, either start by fixing it in uh, Mesh Morpher and exporting in Blender or whatever you feel uh, more comfortable to edit it. But mm -hmm. definitely, you have to sculpt uh, this problem, right? There's, okay. no, there's no other way around it. So what I'm going to do, just so we have a, a start from uh, for this uh, situation here. Actually, let, uh, let me do it for both hands at the same time. Let, let me enable symmetry. And uh, let me select this deformed area that I'm, I want to fix, right? Yep. Let's uh, try to match it, not that much. Okay. Just, just a little bit. We're going to have to fix it anyway, so probably like this, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, if uh, we open Restore tool, and um, we select preserve location and apply a restore. Oh. It, it will try to, you know, uh, yeah. cool. position somehow to fit, right? It's not perfect, but it's it's a good start, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, from this point, what we can do, uh, I'm doing it just in Mesh Morpher, but if you want uh, more advanced tools, so definitely, probably you want to, to export to Blender or ZBrush, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to just smooth out a little bit uh, the problematic regions that uh, are resulted from this uh, restoration, right? Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, if you see this muscle here, this needs to be sculpted and fixed, right? Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm not going to invest too much time in this, but uh, you get the gist of uh, what uh, it's supposed to happen, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, now that this is, let, actually, let me fix a little bit. It bugs me. <laughs> okay. I think this is enough, right, for our uh, small experiment here. And uh, let's save this uh, morph target. And uh, if we go back to poser, we keep, we still have this uh, pose uh, enabled, right? This zero yep. the pose. We select our morph target and we update it from pose, right? Mm -hmm. uh, let's do that. And uh, let's enable it. And then bake it. <clears throat> yeah, and then uh, try to bake it. Uh, you need to invest a little bit of time, you know, to make it make it look good. But this is the fix. Uh, let yeah. me bake this. And let's see how it looks now in control rig, right? Mm -hmm. If we go back to control rig, see the deformation oh, yeah. is gone because we fixed it. Well, this happens oh. because you don't have the exact pose as the uh, the meta human uh, initial. Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the control rig expects those uh, coordinates y and z to be zero, right? So mm -hmm. when we fit uh, the skeleton to your mesh, yeah. the pose is different than the default meta human, right? So yeah, those There's coordinates no change as well. This, 
to fix this in the backhand with your tool to somehow set no, 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 because your pose is different. Yeah, yeah, it was almost the same. So it's it's, it's almost the same, but that difference causes this deformation, right? So yeah. yeah, yeah, we're just trying to fit the skeleton to what you have, you know. Yeah, and so if you, start... what you have is not uh, the correct pose. But this is a pretty quick fix, right? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. It would help me a lot already. So, but it's better to to start sculpting from an original uh, meta-human body, I think, than in the right pose. If yeah, start, yeah. If yeah. That, there, there will be no problems at all, probably. Well, depends. If you change the proportions, yeah. then the pose will change, even though you preserve the same angle, but longer arms or longer shoulders, uh, the proportions yeah. change the pose automatically, right? Yeah, and so, doesn't, doesn't doesn't exist when you just load in animations without the rig. Yeah, 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 yeah. This this comes only from the Meta Human Control rig for the body, right? So yeah. Yeah. only if you want to use uh, this uh, Meta Human Control rig, then you would have to fix this, right? Yeah. Or ignore yeah. it. Uh, create an animation on another Meta Human, retarget it, or uh, bake it on this rig, right? So. Yeah you okay. have uh, different solutions, but this is how you fix it. It looks yeah. pretty good for the amount uh, of effort uh, we invested in it. Yeah, sure. sure. Right? So yeah. this is how you do it, man. All right, man. Thanks, Livio. <laughs> thank you to man, and thank you for uh, accepting uh, to be part of the video, yeah. and uh, see you around, man. See you around. Yes. Ciao. Bye.